Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. I've actually gotten to the point where I feel guilty at this very moment when I don't do this. And uh -huh. I know it's so important for all of us to do this, yes, how we can move is. your life forward, bring you things that you want, you feel you deserve. Mm -hmm. And what am I I'm talking about? I'm talking about gratitude and writing in a gratitude journal. I did not yes. do it this morning. I intentionally got up early, took yes. the dog out, figured I'd get back to it. I didn't do it. And actually now I'm at the point where I feel guilty if I don't practice gratitude. Yep. And I do it in a journal on a regular basis. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yes. That one word can be a game changer in your life. Absolutely. 100%. Bring those things to you that you feel you yes. deserve. She's mm -hmm. a law of assumption coach, and this is what she practices to help bring those things, those good things in your life. And yes. she's Susan Carabello. She's here uh, Hi. from the other side of the planet. Welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank and you. I'm excited to be here. Beautiful uh, Costa Rica is where yes. you're at today. And I love how you continue to practice what you preach. You're there for a retreat. So I'm sure yes. that's for yourself, but also to learn how yes. you can help others too, right? Yes, exactly. Um, and that's the one thing is that when we're in a community of like-minded people, we can share ideas and, and mm. those ideas can help us. Maybe we don't see it like when we're doing our everyday stuff, but like being around like-minded people, you can share ideas. And sometimes those ideas can help you move forward as well. For sure. Well, yeah. that's what we're doing here today. We're yes, sharing we ideas. If you told me, I don't know, five years ago that, you know, you need to practice gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'd say, yeah, I am grateful. And the, the typical things that everybody says, and it's fine. I'm grateful for my, my life, my, my kids and those things. And yes. that's all fantastic. But it goes, practicing gratitude goes deeper than the, just that, right? Yes, it, it does. It's actually, it can change your energetic vibration in your body, in your cells. It is a known fact that being grateful, being appreciative of, the things around you and where you are can actually change your energy and energy as we know is everything energy is the money is the excuse me money is energy love is energy success happiness joy is energy but on the flip side there are um energy also being doubtful being worrisome insecure right so we we get to pick and choose which energies we want to entertain but some are based in lack and fear Gratitude is based in love. So that's how you can look at it. If you are I'll, grateful, I'll, yeah. Give, give us that one more time because it's so important. Yes. So um, the lower vibrational energies, worry, insecurity, fear, doubt are really based um, in fear energy. Whereas love, money, love, the energy of money, um, abundance, what I will use, love, abundance, success, joy, peacefulness, excitement, it's all rooted in gratitude and love. And that's the driving force behind it. Wow. Do you believe yeah. <laughs> that when you practice gratitude, that the universe looks at that <laughs> and says, oh, you're grateful for that. Let me bring you more. Yes, 100%. 100%. Because if you're not grateful for what you have right now, then how can you expect to call in the other things that you wish to experience in your life. You have to be grateful in this moment because recognize that everything in life is either a lesson or a blessing or both, right? The way I perceive it is that everything in life is a lesson and we may not see the lesson sure. right now, but maybe a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, you'll actually realize that it was a blessing because it put you on the path where you were supposed to go. And in doing that, you can actually be grateful for it. Right. And then once you change that energy and you change that into gratitude, it's like, oh, okay. So she's okay with this experience. Like she's learned the lesson from it. You've transmuted it from fear into love. And when you do that, like you can be grateful for every experience that comes into your life. How do you get to that point where when things happen, of course, right away, we go into the why the victim mode, understandable. Mm -hmm. Why yes. me? Why, why does that have to happen to me? Really? Another problem. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. You know, how do you, because this is my, my understanding, my feeling that when you start practicing gratitude and the more positivity mm -hmm. uh, in your life, 
this stuff's going to show up. You may do that yeah. for a split, split second, but then you move out of it faster. Right. How, yes. how do you get to that point where you can keep moving faster out of that, um, the victim mode? Sure. Well, it's recognizing when you start to go into victim mode, right? That's, that's the big, it's awareness, right? It's, it's what, whatever you're putting into your conscious awareness is what you are asking the universe for you to experience. Mm. Right? That's the basis of the law of assumption. Whatever you assume to be true is who, so as much as you may not want to, sometimes these fears, insecurities, doubts come up, right? But they're coming up for a reason. They're coming up to be transmuted from fear into love and the only way to get there is to be grateful be like i'm so grateful that you showed me this thank you universe thank you god thank you source whatever you believe in because once you can get into that mindset and really be grateful that they're they're showing you they're guiding you that like look you have all this stuff you know lying underneath the the surface here but if you really are okay with this we're showing you the way we're showing you the lesson how can you be grateful for it? And it, that's it. You just have to be conscious and aware of the thoughts that are, I guess, operating beneath the surface, our underlying and subconscious beliefs. When it comes <clears throat> to, and I want to get into how to practice gratitude in just a yeah. moment, mm -hmm. but do you feel that life has a lesson for you? Many different lessons. Mm -hmm. We're here yes. to learn and we're yes. here to teach. Yes. And if you don't realize the lesson and be grateful for it. Yes. Do you feel that the universe is just going to show it to you over again and yes. over again until yes. you, <laughs> you truly and, get and, it? Until you truly get it. Um, Carl Jung have, is one of my favorite, um, has one of my favorite quotes. Until the conscious, unconscious become, con excuse me, until the con unconscious becomes conscious, you will repeat the same pattern and call it fate. I am going to write that down right now. And, so, and I'm going to say it again because I know that it was probably a little uh, convoluted. No worries. Until the, until the unconscious becomes conscious, you will repeat the same pattern and call it fate. I probably um, reworded it a little bit, but the idea is that until you bring the unconscious beliefs up to the surface, you're still going to repeat that same pattern and be like, look, I expected this. Well, yeah, of course, because that's your unconscious belief. Until you bring that belief to the light, you know, you're going to just keep repeating the same pattern over and over and being like, well, why don't my relationships work out? Why do I always get fired from my job? Like whatever mm -hmm. the belief mm -hmm. is, we have to remember that we're the, the creator of our life. And sometimes the beliefs that we have are unconscious or subconscious. And then that's why these patterns keep coming up and over and over and over again. I want to share the victim thing. Yes. An example of is something that happened to me recently. And I mm -hmm. shared with you last time we got together, uh, I had I gone away, came back, caught some kind of virus, never got sick. Yes. Had acute laryngitis. Yes. Couldn't talk, couldn't mm -hmm. work. And I went to the ENT like 12 days ago. Yeah. And he said to me that you may need therapy to learn how to talk again. He said yes. that you are a six on a 10 of severity scale and said some other things. And yes. I just looked at him like, I didn't even know. Well, I could say anything, but yeah. I didn't know what to say at that moment. <laughs> right. I left, drove home, sat down, felt lost for a moment because this is my livelihood. This is what I've been doing since literally I was a kid. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking to myself, what now? And if it was five years ago, I would have been freaking out and right. the what ifs and, and why is me like really come on. And yeah. I just stopped myself and it was a moment. I had a moment. Mm -hmm. I got to tell yeah. you, it was, uh, you know, I was lost for that moment. Right. And then I was like listening to within and thinking yes. you're going to be okay. Despite what he said, your listen, your voice comes back. Maybe it'll be deeper. Yeah. <laughs> you know, different i looked at different angles and they they all mm -hmm. seemed okay and here i am i have no shoes i'm talking my voice is like 95 percent. it's all good no yeah. i feel fantastic yeah but that's how i i turned it around and i was grateful that whatever came my way it would be okay because that's that's what's supposed to happen anyway well and that's that's the case right so if we can see in that moment moment that okay 
in a case like that, you were conscious enough and aware enough that like, okay, I have an opportunity to make a choice here. If I know that I'm co-creating with the universe, like I have the opportunity to make a conscious choice to either choose what the doctor is telling me and believing that, you know, I'm never going to use my voice again, or I can choose that everything's going to work out and I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Despite what, what he's saying. Right. And what happened? You, you're here today and you're, you're feeling better. And that was the conscious choice. Right. And then you're grateful for that moment. Be like, I'm so grateful that he showed me that this is, you know, what is potentially going to happen because now I have the opportunity to take care of myself better. I have the opportunity to really decide what this is going to be for me. Am I going to fall into that victim mode and be like, Oh my God, I'm never going to be able to speak again. I'm going to not have this job or, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to use vocal exercises or whatever to rebuild my strength, whatever, whatever you did to make yourself feel better. You took yourself out of the victim mode and put yourself in the driver's seat as the creator. And that's, that's literally what the law of assumption, that's what I teach is how can we get you out of victim mode and put you in the driver's seat? You're, I, you're not the you're not the passenger in the yeah. car. You're driving it. <laughs> you're always in control because you have the power to make a choice. And yes, exactly. I, I'm far from perfect. And I'm not saying, hey. And, none, and none of us are. Yeah. You did a great job, Steve, with that. I just yeah. did what I, I felt. And I am. You, you trusted yourself. I did. And I trusted the universe. Yes. I am so grateful that that happened. And as I look back three weeks ago, I'm lying in bed. I, you know, I never get sick. I have a fever. I'm coughing up a lung. What the heck is going on? You know, I'm going to give pneumonia. I was like, it's going to be all right. I am so, Susan, I'm so grateful that it happened to me. Yeah. And you know why? Because I believe it was the universe's way of saying, dude, you need to slow down. Exactly. And and exactly. By, by, by slowing down all summer long, I was just working hard, working, working, working. I kept saying, I want to take my kayak out. I never have any yeah. time. Well, guess what? Three times in a week, solo, because I couldn't talk with anybody, and that's fine. Yeah. I went out. I had a wonderful time in my kayak. I was relaxed. I was great. I'm yeah. still relaxed. And I got clarity on some you know, situations, some ideas, and all of that. Yeah. And I'm like, calm, chill. It's all good. So thank you. I'm grateful. I am grateful. Yes. And that's that's exactly what the universe wants. Like they they now will give you more of that. Why? Because A, you saw it as a gift, right? It was an opportunity for you to stop sure. and take care of yourself. Right? That's the universe's way of saying you have to take care of yourself. We're gonna force you to it take did. care of yourself. And it right? did it the best way possible because you know, I could have the had, weather was perfect. The weather was perfect. I could have had a you know uh, sprained ankle and I couldn't walk. Well, yeah. I could still get to work and I could still talk. So therefore I wouldn't be taking time off. It got yeah. me where I it got me good. <laughs> it, yeah. it did what it needed to do. And I exactly. know it. There's not even a doubt in my mind that that's why that happened. Yes. But I could have freaked. And five years ago, oh man, I would have I would have been freaking out have anxiety. Mm-hmm. What am I going to do? Woes me, you know, try off. Oh, I didn't do and, anything. I and just, a lot of us, that's, you know, yes, I know. We're, where we're conditioned, right? We're like, we're conditioned to like the worst case scenario is being presented. We, as our, as humans are doing what we are trained to do to survive. Right. Yeah. So we're now going to pull up our brains are going to just logically pull up every scenario that possibly could happen so that we can start preparing for the worst thing to happen. Right. Or you can choose over here and be like, no, that's not going to happen. And it is what it is. And we're going to be fine and we're good. Can can you trust that inner knowing that um subconscious not subconscious, um intuition, that intuitive voice, right? Our soul speaking, right? I call it the soul speak. Can you trust the soul speaking to you and saying, sure. Yes, you're gonna be fine. Don't worry, just take a break, take a moment, yep, relax and be and be grateful now because now you have this opportunity. To see it for what it is. Can I operate from a state of fear or can I choose love and choose the energy of gratitude, which is going to give me more things to be grateful for and more things to be loving for, right? Then it snowballs. That's the momentum effect, right? Because once you're a little grateful for this, you're a little grateful for something else. And then all of a sudden the snowball just continues to turn. Hmm. I, I don't like to use these words, but it's the best description I have. Yes. What's the worst that could, <laughs> could happen? 
what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Those that, you know, are deep into subconscious uh, neuro linguistics programming, you're yeah. actually telling your subconscious worst happen, worst, worst. But I'm using those words to illustrate uh, what I believe is a point. If you think about the worst case scenario, it's not, how do you know it's going to happen anyway? Well, there's a plethora of things that you can choose from, right? Like the, I use the buffet, <laughs> buffet yeah, right? It's great. You Like you have a buffet in front of you. You have chicken, you have fish, you have beef, you have pork, you have lamb, you have liver, right? Now you have all these different proteins on your plate, but you can't stand the liver. So but what happens is like, oh my God, you detest the liver and you're like, but you keep focusing on it. So what happens? The next time you go to a buffet, there's going to be, liver on the buffet, right? Because that's where your energy is. Can you be grateful for the other things that you get to choose from and pick something else? But we look for the worst case scenario. The liver might be on the buffet. I don't know if I want to go to the buffet, but you could just focus on the fact that like the chicken is really great or the fish is amazing. And you can pick one of those two things, but right. Our victim brain sometimes goes to worst case scenario, preparing us. Oh, you know, there, there might be something on the buffet that I don't like. I don't know if this is a good idea. And the more we feed that, what happens? Whatever you focus on grows, mm. right? So you focus on the worst case scenario. Then, you know, a year from now, you're going to go to a buffet and guess what's going to be there? Liver, right? Um, when I first started studying um, spiritual law, I was focused on the law of attraction. I think we spoke about the differences between one and the other. And my safe space was when I would get um, anxious or overwhelmed, I would start to think about chocolate donuts, right? That was my my safety thing. Like everyone's got a safety thing to, to snap them out of the victim mindset. My thing was chocolate donuts. Well, can I tell you, I went different places and every time I would go there, there would be like a variety of chocolate donuts. Really? I went, I went to a party and on the buffet, it was a Halloween party, right? So there's candy. Um, it's in the evening. There's candy. There's um, there's finger foods, whatnot. And what's in a box in the back? I opened it up. Chocolate donut holes. I was like, but that was like, I started seeing them any, everywhere, right? Because in my conscious awareness, what was I doing? I was trying to get out of the fear state. So I would focus on something to get me out of the fear state and to be get me out of my anxiety that, oh my God. You know, I, I don't want to feel this other thing. So I'm going to focus on chocolate donuts, right? And that chocolate donut's like, oh, I love chocolate donuts. They taste so good, you know? And then of course that would change my energy. And I was like, oh God, I'm so grateful for the chocolate donut. So I would see them everywhere. And I wasn't I was like, at one point I, I started laughing because I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Like you got to pick something else. Like you, if you're choosing chocolate donuts, like, you know, find a dollar instead, right? Like um, if the whole idea is that, can you just be grateful? Right. Recognize that sometimes things come up. See, see it for a lesson. See it as a lesson yes. so that you can take it. Don't do like I did with the chocolate. Don't see it as a lesson. Really sit with that uncomfortable feeling because what your body is asking you is like, I don't want to feel like this anymore. How can I transmute this feeling into something that feels better? And it's not the chocolate donuts. How can you love that part of you and accept that part of you? The one that is screaming in fear that it's afraid of whatever it's experiencing. Can you A, accept it and B, be grateful for that moment, be grateful for it and change that fear into love. And how do you change the fear into love? By literally just changing your mind, changing your mind, being like, you know, I'm so grateful that you showed me this. I don't believe that thought anymore. I know how powerful I am. I know I'm being divinely guided. I know I'm in the driver's seat. I'm choosing this instead. And mm. that's simple. And then, and then you walk in that, like, literally you go from like down here to up here, right? You move the energy from this lower vibrational state into something that is, you know, gratitude, appreciation, love, excitement, joy, right? You're, you're creating your own happiness in that moment. You did a great job in manifesting those chocolate donuts, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I, I did. I did it for six months. My gosh. And it's like your parents always said to you, be careful what you ask for because yeah. you're going to get it. Yeah, and That's essentially what this is. And that's yeah. what happened to you. Mm -hmm. um, but all, all the more better because the, the, the donuts deflected 
your attention elsewhere. <laughs> I just well, think but it, it did. It deflected it, but it wasn't really getting at the root of the problem, which was I was afraid of certain things. Right. Right. But 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 I needed to learn that lesson. Right. I needed to learn that chocolate donuts were only a band aid to what I was still truly feeling. I had to see in that moment that the feelings that were coming up were an opportunity for me to a sit with it, b really get to the root of what was going on, and b transmute it into love. You know, and the and wow. the way to the way to love is through gratitude. I'm so grateful. Thank you, universe, for showing me that I felt this way about myself. I really don't feel that way about myself anymore. This is the way I feel. And this is how I'm going to carry myself going forward. And that was literally the steps I had to take. And, you know, sometimes we, we especially for belief or an energy is deep rooted or deep seated. It's really an opportunity. You know, it's going to come up again and again until you finally start, you know, saying, no, I'm not available for this story anymore. I'm grateful that you've shown this to me, but I'm not available for this story. This is who I am now. Right. So like you can move to that state of gratitude and appreciation, but at some point confidence, like gr- gratitude is going to get you there. Confidence is what's going to keep you there. And faith, Com- right. And, and faith. faith and faith yeah. and faith. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Com- confidence and faith. Are the- faith is the driving factor, right? Yeah, like your belief is your faith. But once you get there, it's like, no, I know who I am. I'm confident in who I am. And, and I have faith that I'm going to get everything that is meant for me. Right. Because I decide. I decide, right? Like I trust my soul. I know what's meant for me and I have nothing to worry about, right? That's the confidence, but that's also faith in what's going on in here. Like you have to have faith in what's going on in here, like a hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time. I have much gratitude for you. Oh, thank you. What you do. I know. I really, really, really mean that it's you, you back up things that I, I wonder about. And I've been, you know, learning about this and studying, I appreciate it, try, that. trying to practice it. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Even just, you know, the things that you said today, it's like, yeah, that's that. You know, I feel that I'm on the right path of these many of these things, and yes. we talk about it so others can see this. Yes. Um, but yeah, you just back it all up, and this is what you're you're still studying it. You're on a uh, a retreat right now in Costa yes. Rica. By the way, um, uh, considering where you are, can I get a spicy margarita? <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, but they do. <laughs> they, they do have uh, drinks here. Yeah, well, um, I, you know, I, the, I try not to, but every once in a while, yeah. you know, you got to try something different. But the the thing is about here, it's like they have these little restaurants. Like um, you just drive down the road, and there's just like a, a restaurant. And this one just was calling to me. The food here was amazing. Mm. Like it was just perfect. Like a hundred percent, so good. The the universe sends you signs. You, you see them. I've been saying, and I just said the other day, I, I bucket list. I need to travel alone. I've never yes. done it. Been on a plane, yes. you know, by myself, but I met up with people I know. Yes. And then there you are. And I mentioned, I had no idea how you traveled and yeah. you did. It's almost as if the universe just said, hello. Yeah. There's, there's another reason. I, she's I'm the come. messenger. You are the messenger. Thank you very yeah, much exactly. for that. And I'm so and, excited for yeah. you and, you know, me in the future soon manifest yeah. that I'm going to do the same exact thing. Yeah. yeah. And and that's my, that's my, I really feel like that's my mission on this earth is really, I'm a guide. I'm a messenger for, for other people, right? Totally. Like I, I've done the work. Totally. Um, I don't want you to have to go through all the trials and tribulations that I have had. To, and I don't want to say trials and tribulations. No. The lessons, the lessons, the lessons, the lessons, <laughs> the lessons yeah. right? right. Um, sure. I had to go, I had to go through those lessons in order to become who I am today. But without those lessons, I couldn't be on the mission that I am, which is to really show people that you are in the driver's seat of your life yep. by your choices. And it was, it's really, you know, I am the messenger. I am here to guide others and teach others how this really works. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I do because it's really simple when you understand the basics. It's, it gets a little bit more complicated because we don't know how to apply it, right? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It, we're, going, we're going with our logical mind here is like fighting tooth and nails, like that's not the way it works. I'm like, yeah, it is. Like we, we, nobody like wants- we said, like we said, when we're out of time, you, you, you're going to learn the lesson anyway. So you yeah, may as well exactly. get it right the first time and then move on. Website right. is uh, is your name, right? Please share. Yes, it's www.suecarabello.com. 
My email is susan at suecarabello.com. You can follow me on Instagram at susancarabello underscore. Wonderful talking with you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so and much. I mean, have a fantastic and, time. Yes, I will. And in tr- you should try to uh, solo travel. Even oh, for a day I, or two. It's fabulous. Oh, it's happening. There's no, yeah. there's not, there's not, hmm, I wonder if I should. No, I will. And uh, I will catch up to get your notes on Costa Rica some other yes. time offline. <laughs> yes. I will. Uh, heard great stuff. All right. We'll catch right. up soon. Thanks. All right. Thanks. See ya. Thank you. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's It's going to be okay.